Good afternoon. Thank you guys for being here. Um, it's exciting to see so many folks here, even um, despite the weather. Um, so I want to take you guys back about two and a half years to um, about the first month of the Justice Administration. The governor had Steve and I over to his office and he talked to us about his passion for state parks. He told us stories about being at Babcock um, when he was in college and help, helping with trout stocking and a number of different things and just talked to us about how great the parks were. And in that meeting, he told us two things. He said, we've got to fix up these parks. And he said, and we've got to make the online, we've got to make it where people can make an online reservation. And I'm here today to tell you that we are making great strides and we are there on both of these projects and are really starting to see results. Um, you know, I recently was with the tourism commissioners from the other states and I t I'll tell you, the other states are all um, envious of West Virginia and the support that we have right now for tourism and for our state parks. Um, I'm going to let Director McDaniel talk a little bit about the infrastructure improvements that we're announcing today, but I want to focus for a second on these online reservations. So about eight months into this administration, we launched a new state parks website. It was the first mobile friendly website that we had had in West Virginia. Um, and it was the first time that you could make an online reservation for our cabins, our lodge parks. And that has been going really well. And as of today, you can also make reservations for picnic shelters and campsites. And I will tell you that we've seen tremendous increases in our revenue since we launched the lodge rooms and the cabins online. So just as of last night, this year, we are outpacing last year's advanced reservations by 43%. And that's, and that's just with lodge rooms and cabins. So with today's addition of all the campsites, I think we are going to make even greater gains. I want to take just a second to think there's been a huge team who's been working on this. Um, Kara and Emily from my office back here have worked hours and hours on this. We've got folks from Commerce. We've got a huge web team, um, Justin, Pat, Sarah, Nick, Blanca. I know there's people I'm forgetting, but there's a lot of people who've put hundreds and hundreds of hours into this project. And then last, last but not least, I want to thank the folks at the state park system. So the people who were on the ground, the people who were actually making these reservations on iPads, out at campsites, people who are in our call center today that have been bombarded with calls, those are the folks who are boots on the ground, greeting customers, and really making this a success. So to those folks who are not here because they're working, um, thank you very much. Um, so again, Governor, thank you for your leadership. For, you know, the Governor, when he has a vision for something, he gives us the tools to do it, and then he pushes us to success and keeps reminding us to do bigger and better. So Steve, do you want to talk about infrastructure improvements? Yeah. First, uh, let me welcome everyone here to Audra State Park. This has a little bit of a a special affection for me. I, my parents and I, we did a lot of camping. And my best friend Travis Jones is in the is in the audience here today. He and I met in his dad's campground up at Twin Lakes, and we spent a lot of time here as, as, as children. And, and when I when I was fortunate enough to get the call from from the governor to ask me to take this position, I sat down with him. He looked me straight in the eye and he said, I, "This is what I want to do. I'm going to make a commitment." Tourism. I want to make a commitment to get our parks back to where they need to be. You go out, you figure out what needs to be done, and let's get it done. And today is one of, of many. We've already had a couple of announcements of some of the things that we're doing. As Chelsea said, there's been a lot of infrastructure improvements, not just in our campgrounds, but in our lodge parks and in, in, in our cabins as well. The site here today, I think we're up to 39 sites with full electric. Uh, this store that you see here was, was uh, doubled here in the last year. We're building a, a handicap accessible bathroom down here. We're going to be building one up at the shelter. Just one of about $60 million worth of projects that, we're, that, that were made possible because of this man's support. Uh, from day one, he's, he said, get it done. And every time that I've gone to him and said, Governor, this is what I need, he said, let's, let's get it done. So this is, uh, again, as Chelsea said, it's, it, it's a great day to be in West Virginia. We're excited about the upcoming season. 1,800 campsites as of right now, you can go online for the first time ever and you can reserve a campsite anywhere in West Virginia you have to offer. And folks, that's big. And people are, our local people know about our campground. But the people traveling through West Virginia that are on their phones, they go to that website, 
they, they could never go in and, and know that there's going to be a site, and the governor can tell you how long it took him to get through the winding roads to get here. <laughs> but they know when they get here, there's going to be a site for them on this beautiful Middle Fork River. So we're just, we're, we're excited to, to that, and, and I want to thank Chelsea's group and, 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 and my staff and the folks at communication and everyone in the governor's office who just put head, head over heels is the, the, the type of support that, that we've received from the governor and, and, and his staff. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you the Honorable Jim Justice, Governor of the Great State of West Virginia. Yeah. Come, right here. Come right over here. Come here, Come here. Come here. I want to tell you all something. And I want you to really pay really close attention to me. These type of people are out there in the world. You can find these people. They have done incredible work. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, you just think, I mean, just measure us by our deeds. I mean, at the end of the day, you can cast a stone here and there, but I am telling you, these are superstars, and they have done incredible work. And, you know, and I've probably stood on top of them a little bit and pushed them like crazy, and, I, and they know I'm with them. That's the thing. They know I'm with them. We talk all the time. Every single thing on on Chelsea's stuff, as far as her promotions and everything, I'm I'm an I'm an I'm a marketing guy. But you've got to love this state and market this state for these kind of things to happen. And then all of you, whether it be senators or delegates or whatever, all of you that are working within our systems and everything, look what you're doing. I mean, this is unbelievable stuff. Uh, these two deserve an incredible credit, but all of you deserve credit and everything. And then I'll just be the guy that kind of rudders the boat and everything and says, this is, this is the kind of idea. This is what we can do. But love these, especially these two today, because, man, they have done unbelievable stuff. And, uh, and this is just a great, great, great day for our state. You know, I'll sit and talk with you and answer your questions. I think, I don't know, it's something like... Three point something million dollars that we're putting into the campground improvements in 16 state parks, and it just goes on and on. But the net of the whole thing is just this. I mean, for crying out loud, now you can go online right now, and you can find stuff about our parks and our campsites. You can find stuff, all kinds of stuff about our parks and improvements and everything. And the net of the whole thing is just what Chelsea just said. 43%. We're up 43%. The nation is looking at West Virginia and all kinds of things are calling saying, what are you doing? What are you doing in West Virginia? Well, for God's sakes of living, look what we're doing and look out there. Just look out there how great this state really is in every way. We just got to absolutely let the world see just a little bit of West Virginia and then they come running and everything. That's what it's all about. It's just that. So uh, nobody can have a more a bigger passion. You know, today I was supposed to fly. I was supposed to come to Clarksburg. Then they said, nope, you can't make it and everything. Well, then we said, okay, well, let's go. And, and how long is it going to take to get there? Two hours and 45 minutes. And so here we go and everything. And then all of a sudden we run into all these orange cones and everything. <laughs> all over. And people are working on the roads all everywhere. And then, then, you know, we get closer and closer. And I said, where, how, how long, can, how far can it be? And then I see the sign, Audra State Park, eight miles. And <laughs> so here we come. So anyway, no, I'm really, I really, I really appreciate you waiting and everything. And, and, uh, and I, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy to be here. I mean, that's all there is. What a wonderful, wonderful day. And again, Chelsea and Steve, I can never thank y'all enough. And uh, and Chelsea would tell you this. Now, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to tell you this. Chelsea would say this. There's been, there's been some moments where Chelsea has seen, you know, there's three sides of me. There's Jimmy. Well, you're seeing Jimmy today. And then there's Jim, who's real serious. And then there's James. And you don't want to see James. And, uh, and, but there's times James has to be James. And there's a couple of moments that we, you've seen James have. And, and, I, and, and, and because I just felt like we're going the wrong way and everything. But we, uh, 
but I'm, we're so blessed to have these two characters and all y'all. So uh, that's all I can say. Now I'll take your questions or we'll take your questions or, or we'll just have a, a celebration of West Virginia today. So uh, it's we really... We've got a ribbon to cut as well. Okay, we're going to cut the ribbon. Let's do that. Okay. We're going up. Okay. We're going up. Whichever way. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Great job. I just, I just love it. I wish I had my fly rod. I'd be out there laughing. Okay, that'd be good. Uh, so, Governor, one thing I didn't tell you is the system actually went live this morning, even though we didn't announce it. We said there was going to be an exciting announcement. And since it went live this morning, we've sold close to 400 campsite nights. Just with people who got online and found it. So, I also want to throw something in there, too, when we talk about some of the strides we've made. When we came into office, we had 35 state parks, and all of them required a subsidy from the state. And working and doing the things that we've done, and Sam England's here, and I can't thank him enough. We have four of those parts today that require almost no subsidy. They're almost yeah. completely cash and sufficient. That's right. so we're, we're making a lot of progress. Good stuff. Good stuff. What I don't understand, though, is how do you qualify and Chelsea qualify for this real pretty little pink raincoat or green raincoat, and I just get wet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, you'd have to have a tent maker to make me wet. I understand that. Uh, I just, I, I can't tell you, and I mean, I really mean, I, I love the outdoors, you know, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'd have been turkey hunting this morning, I was up, ready to go and everything, I went outside, and it was dog pouring the rain, I said, I really want to do this, <laughs> so, so I turned around and I went back inside, but, uh, but nevertheless, uh, I love the outdoors, I uh, grew up, you know, bird dogs and grouse hunting and, and crawling around, you know, on a native trout stream with a five-foot fly rod and shooting the flies on the water and the, and the trout stream wasn't, you know, three foot wide and and, uh, and in some way, somehow, I caught a native trout and I've said this many times and if it's that big and everything, I thought I had a tarpon and so, uh, <laughs> but, but I just love our state and I, I don't need to ever go anywhere. You know, I, this is where I love and this is where I want to be. So, and these guys are, I just can't say nothing for them. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions?